Hey everyone, my name is Ri and we are here. This is going to be week number one of the APA Academy Season 2. And we are up against Kohan. And uh, we've only battled him once before. Uh, and that was also an Uber's format back in the PCL. And uh, I did not do well. He, I believe, four Odas in that one. But this is a very different Uber's team. A very different Uber's format. Way many more open Uber's. But overall, uh, it's going to be a really just scary matchup. He has a lot for me to think about here in this matchup. So... We do see the Verizian, Blaziken, Jelsand, Scizor, Clefable, and uh, Thunderous. So right off the bat, no Mega Lottie, which was one of his Ubers. Um, other than that, let me take a look. Uh, no Drapion. No Drapion's huge. No Excel Gore. So way less of a potential hazard stack uh, game plan, as well as... No Pelibra Kingdra, so no rain for this first week, which is going to be really interesting. I did uh, prep a lot for rain, but I don't feel like I over prepped, which was uh, pretty big for me in this situation. Um, part of me just wants to lead off with my Togekiss. I do have a Scarf Togekiss. Um, I'm trying to think of what I would want to do here. Part of me, hmm. I do have a few options here. I could also definitely lead off with, with my Zygarde, although I think Mamoswine is going to be the best lead overall. It doesn't have like a really strong uh, lead other than maybe the Clefable if he wants to go for a Rocks lead, but I don't see any real standout uh, leads here. I don't know what to expect out of this matchup. Um, it's a very, very interesting matchup. I didn't take a screenshot of the of the matchup but um i will be in just a second although yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of thrown way off i would have definitely expected uh his rain core to come through i feel okay about the way that i match up against what he brought we do see a scissor lead so maybe he was expecting something from me i'm not too too sure but um I do give him a free U-turn, although he might want to just... I'd be curious if this thing is banded as well. Um... Also, my... What are... What are his... What are his... Hazard options here? Clefable. Because I think Blastoise is a lot more expendable in this matchup. I think it can be a lot better a pivot against things like the scissor here so i'm going to go into that just to try to get a feel for what he wants to do in this matchup let's go for the u-turn that's totally fine that's totally fine i am a lot more specially defensive that has to be banded that has to be banded let's see a non-mega blastoise against a banded scissor Um, that actually might not be banded. That's kind of wild. I mean, to be fair, I'm not terribly defensive. But, yeah, Blastoise before Mega. Could it be, like, a Bug Plate? I don't even know what the Bug Plate is. But let's see, I don't think we saw Life War, but that would be... Right around the right damage for Life Orb on the high end. Um, no, actually, that, that, that probably is banded because I think it was a little, uh, a decent amount over 50%. Yeah, yeah. So that's almost definitely banded. This thing comes in. And I kind of just want to go into Togekiss here. He could try to predict that with a Stone Edge. Maybe that's what he was trying to calc out right now. But, now we should take a Stone Edge every time. I'm going to go into my Togekiss here. He could, try to, he could try to Swords Dance up, assuming that I would want to go into my Togekiss, and yeah, yeah, okay, that's totally fair. That's totally fair. Now, I don't know if he's going to expect me to be Scarfed, or just expect me to... to be able to take this thing on naturally but i have no other play but to just click air slash if i do get 
a scarfed air slash off right now that would be pretty huge um and nothing really wants to switch into this thing except for the thunderous potentially but even then um thunderous doesn't have the best time in the world okay okay I would, I would honestly kind of expect this thing to want to click U-turn here. U-turn would be the best play for him. But I don't really think I can risk it otherwise. The Mammoth Swine alone, I feel like, makes would want him to not want to click HP Ice. This so could also be Scarfed for all I know. Scarfed makes somewhat sense, but I do have two ground types on my team, so I don't know. I don't know. I could definitely see a U-turn, and I really do want to call out the U-turn here, but I don't think I'm in that great of a position to. I'll just go back into this thing here. And, yeah, there it is. He he's calling he's calling me out in every way right now. I really should have stuck to it and just clicked air slash again. But yeah, I wasn't sure if I was in a position to do that. Regardless, um, best answer to this thing. Might just be Verzion. I guess he still has to wonder whether or not I am Scarfed or anything like that. He could just try to set up and go into Bla um, Blaziken early. Uh, it is a non-Mega Blaziken, but it is speed boost. So, uh, his Mega was Mega Latias, which I believe was one of his Ubers, and uh, his other was speed boost regular Blaziken. So... Honestly, Jellicent makes a ton of sense to me here, but Jellicent would allow in my Blastoise, and who knows how much he really cares about my Blastoise being allowed in, but uh, it is a thought right now. Uh, Scizor is a huge, huge opportunity for him to get a lot of big damage off again. Um, if the Scizor does come in, then... Here's the thing, right? I think, honestly, I, I'm in a position where I have to burn... I, I feel like, yeah, just just, just go for the Blaziken play. And is on a balloon. That's really interesting. But... I could... I could honestly give up Blastoise here. Blastoise really does not a whole lot for me in general. If I give up Blastoise here, if I give up Blastoise here, then that would allow in Hmm. I think he clicks sub though. I really think he clicks sub. But, man, I really... Mm, I'm just not playing well. I don't think this is... Mm. Goes for the Swords Dance. Okay. So, I do actually... Let's just see. Blaziken. A regular Swords Dance Blaziken. Who even knows how fast this thing has to be? But, um... Yeah, Palkia should take hits, and Solgaleo should take hits, um, at least with the Akaberry. But, he has to attack me here, which is going to be best. Uh, I did have Roar on an, on an initial, um, build for this thing. But, it looks like... He does have the low kick, which is fine, I think. It will honestly just allow me to go. 
No, I think I have to go into Solgaleo. I think I have to go into Solgaleo here. And Solgaleo is going to be able to get his Zen Headbutt off. And I don't know if he hard reads that and goes into something else. But Scizor would have to respect the Flare Blitz. Um, which I don't have, but it does have to respect it. Um, I have Knock Off for the Jellicent, which is not going to be ideal. But um, Verzian can't really come in. Thunderous isn't going to want to take that much damage. Uh, there's the Flare Blitz with the Akaberry. And... Just have to try and land this Zen Headbutt. We just have to try and land this Zen Headbutt. We do land it. Okay. Okay. That's a bit of a relief. Especially because against the Jelsin, I'll probably be able to get um, a Morning Sun up. And against the Scizor as well. If the Scizor is locked in a Bullet Punch at least, I will probably be able to get off a, a Morning Sun. Uh, and Akaberry Solgaleo is all thanks to um, a Aaron 2420. Let's go into this thing. I honestly think he wants to click U-turn. He could just want to pick me off, though. I don't know. But I do have some obvious switches, though. I'd be curious to know what he goes into here. I want to click Morning Sun so badly. I want to click Morning Sun so badly. He could also click Dark Pulse. He could also click Dark Pulse. There's the Thunderbolt. Okay. For right now, I'm going to assume that this thing is Scarfed. And I'm going to bring this thing in, because I think no matter what, this is going to allow me to get Stealth Rock up. And... I'll be able to make a pivot from there, although... Yeah, he, he is aggressively calling everything that I want to do. Um, I knew that he was going to U-turn before, but I didn't play to it now, and this time I thought that he was going to... That I tried to play towards the U-turn, he played uh, for the Thunderbolt, so... He's completely playing me, 100%. It does really suck to have lost the Solgaleo, but now that allows me to dedicate my Palkia to, be, to being able to manage the Scizor. So, that's going to be its own thing. Um, I do have pretty much max defense Palkia as well as a... As well as a... Um... Near max defense Solgaleo with the Akaberry, obviously, as, as you guys saw. But both of those were, pre were pretty much max defense because he did have... Uh, the play is gonna obviously, and uh, the reason that I felt okay about giving up the the does bring the Jellison. The only reason I felt okay giving up the uh the Blastoise was because it was specially defensive, meant to take on his you know Raincore. And it doesn't have any real special threats other than th the Thunderous, which Blastoise was never going to be able to take on anyway. This thing comes in. It honestly makes me want to go into Palkia and set up a substitute. I think that's what I might do. Although... Mm. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Okay, so let me think here. Jelsend. Spatial Ren does just a lot of damage no matter what happens, but the Clefable, it, it invites in the Clefable. It invites in the Clefable. Thunderbolt's a middle ground, but it's not great. Thunderbolt's a middle ground, but it's not great. 
kind of want to double. I think I just go back into... Or no, maybe that means... Maybe that means that I go into Zygarde here. No. I think I go into Togekiss here. I think I go into Togekiss here. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Clefable come in. Goes for the Hex, which is fine, I think. And I guess I get to see... Just how well this thing can take Air Slashes. But... <sighs> Let's see. This gel set might just be the mod that I have the most difficulty breaking. Although, Air Slash does leave him vulnerable to getting flinched. Something to that, something to that effect. Maybe he doesn't want to risk that. Does have the Toxic. And I think that pretty much reveals that this thing is pretty much max defensive. Uh, let's see here. There's the first flinch. Does he switch out? No. Do we see a second flinch? Oh, okay. I think what that's gonna mean is that this thing is gonna be more important than I think this is really my only way of beating the the Verizion. Which means that if the Scizor comes back in, then I'm going to have to let him U-turn out, which is not great. It's actually pretty bad. But it means that I have to allow the U-turn to happen. Because otherwise this Togekiss goes down straight away. Or, well, yeah. Because this Togekiss can only get one final hit off, it looks like. So, maybe... Maybe that means that I can just do damage to this thing. Maybe that means that I can just do damage to this thing. Um... I feel like he has no reason to click, to click Bullet Punch here. Especially with my Palkia. Just, just chilling. If I do go into Palkia... He goes into Thunder. Mm. I guess this is going to be the risk that I kind of have to take. I think he's... Yeah, he's definitely thinking about whatever he wants to do right now. Honestly, he doesn't even really know that I'm Scarfed yet. I mean, I mean, I have heavily implied that I'm Scarfed. But he doesn't know for sure, and I could have the Flamethrower. He does kind of have to respect that. Does go for the Bullet Punch. Okay. That will kind of allow me to go into Palkia and click Sub. Which, I really don't know what that does for me, but... Um... It'll mean that the Clefable comes in. 
But if the Clefable comes in, then I either double or, or I click Surf on it anyway. Yeah, I can double out here. I can double out here and go into Zygarde. If I go into Zygarde, then I can ban myself into Zen Headbutt, which would allow his Scizor back in. But then at that point, I can go back into Palkia and then kind of do this whole thing over again. Or he might honestly just just um, take the damage with the Clefable and Moonblast me. But in that, but if that's the case, then I just take that damage every time anyway. Uh, here, here this thing is. And do we see the Clefable? I think that's the Clefable. No, that's the Verizion. That's interesting. Uh, I would be very curious if this Verizion feels safe being in here. I don't even know if Zen Headbutt KOs. I, this, it is a banded Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt's a roll. After Rocks... I mean, this is assuming no bulk, but after Rocks... Uh, Zen Headbutt is an 81%. I guess I just have to click Zen Headbutt here, right? He might think that this is a free Swords Dance opportunity. He might not think that I would pack the Zen Headbutt. Honestly, he might not even think that I'm banded. Uh, if he switches out, then he 1,000% knows that I'm banded. But he would have to genuinely hard read the band. Because he could be calculating this out and realize that I'm, you know... That band has a chance if he's no bulk, but at the same time... Uh, he would have to have to hard read the band. If he thinks I'm any other item, then he would just stay in and... Well, no, he wouldn't stay in because I have speed. I potentially have speed. Yeah, so the fact that... Yeah. He does let me get the Zen Headbutt off. I think this is a KO. That is a KO. All right. So, Kohan told me before the match that uh, he's been getting hacks out, and and uh, he didn't want to say good, good luck, have fun because of that, and um, I'm sure you could point to the Togekiss as kind of a bit of hacks, but it is a Togekiss, and it was really my best out to the Jellicent. Um, But now, I think... Actually, I would be very curious. Scizor. Oof, okay. This thing comes in. This thing comes in. I feel like Zygarde's still valuable. I'm gonna go into... Yeah, I have to go into... Mamoswine. I have to go into Mamoswine. Hits the Moonblast. And how much damage am I doing as a Mamoswine? Okay. Max defense, I'm doing around half. But would you really be max defense? I guess we see. I guess we just see. I because I really, I really primarily need some chip damage, and I don't even think that the that the thunderous is in a position to come in here. I really don't even think that the thunderous is in a position to come in here. Because yeah, ice shard does way more than enough. He doesn't. He, he hasn't seen an, an item from me yet, which potentially. Would lead him to believe that I am, uh, scarfed, but I'm not. I think, yeah, I think I just clicked Stealth Rocks and switched out, so maybe I'm Scarfed Rocks? I don't know. It's gonna depend on a lot. It's gonna depend on a lot, but this end game is very interesting. So if it's just max HP, and let's just say max special defense... If it's no defensive investment, then Earthquake is doing 
75 to 85 ish percent 70 to 85 ish percent um yeah I, I think i've put him in an, in an awkward position all around and yeah man especially if i end up taking especially if i end up taking a, a follow-up moon blast then i'm in a bananas position he does switch out go into this thing but i i feel like he has to be hard reading me to be he has to be hard reading me to be uh scarfed because he doesn't ever really take this and he and fun fact he's He's, uh, even HP, which might be a slight misgen, but who, who really knows? I've never personally had a match that's, that's, um, that I've lost because of odd HP. It does go into this thing. So, he's, he's probably scouting, which is totally fair. That's totally fair. But, I don't think he's in a position... To, he might be. I don't know. Honestly, what do I know? I'm, I'm wondering if, he, if he's in a position to click U-turn here, or if he's go, or if he's trying to bullet punch me. He almost definitely has to bullet punch, right? He almost definitely has to bullet punch me, right? He's an Earth. He's actually in earthquake range. If he doesn't bullet, well, he, he doesn't know what item I am. Like even at a little bit. So I think, regardless, I test things out by going into Palkia. I really don't think he's in a position to really do anything but click uh, Bullet Punch here. He could be, he could just go for an all-out late game play and go for the U-turn. But that is a ginormous risk here. That is bordering on choke territory, but obviously, if he calls it right, then one man's choke is another man's uh, godlike gameplay and game-winning play in the, in the in the end game. But uh, I really, really feel like he's forced into clicking bullet punch. I think he, maybe he's just calculating out all the types of Amazons that I can be. Um, he knows that I'm not life orbed. Um, I could be expert belt. Um, I am earth plate for, for the record. Um, I'm going to try to remember to uh, link my entire Poke Paste. But uh, there's a switch out. I just don't know if he clicks U-turn here. I don't know. If he does, then that is a massive, massive play. Okay. Okay. That will allow him to go into... That'll allow him to go into... That'll allow him to go into... Clefable. But I get one big surf off, he moonblasts me. Or he doesn't moonblast me, and he lets me get two surfs off. Uh, he could be met. He could be, um, Calm Mind, which would be worst case scenario. Actually, no, it, it wouldn't be worst case scenario, because no matter how how, how high up he Calm Minds, my Palkia gets taken out, I go into Mammoth Swine, and I, and I threat- As long as I get a decent amount of chip damage off, then, uh, Mammoth Swine comes in and, uh, threatens a- Threatens a KO. Clefable. Goes into this instead. I think he's trying to bait me. I think he's trying to bait me into something here. I'm going to click Surf? I think he knows that I'm defensive. I really think he's trying to bait me into something, but I don't know what. Like, is he... He can't U-turn, though. He really just can't U-turn. But he can't Thunderbolt. 
There's a thing. He can't Thunderbolt. Well, no, he can U-turn because it would preserve this thing as fodder for later in the match. Thunderous. Against Palkia. I mean, I'm gonna... I'm gonna click Surf. Grass Knot, okay. Um... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Clefable. This thing is super specially defensive. Thousand Arrows is doing right around half. So. I think he's going to bring in the Scizor and click U-Turn. Or he just goes into Clefable and, cl and clicks Calm Mind here. I don't know. I don't know what he does. Scizor. Man, I'm not even that far out of range of Bullet Punch, too, which is kind of wild. Or not even that far, like, in range of Bullet Punch. But, what this means... ...is that... ...the Zygarde can come in, I take a Bullet Punch, and if he switches out, then I should do it the Clefable. And I guess I just see where that, what that does. Because I almost, unless I get crit, I should almost always take a bullet punch, I think. From full. And, uh, and I think I do a minimum of 50%. Ooh, which is, I think, I think this should be a 2 KO, being banned a thousand arrows. But I don't know. If it, if it's not, then I just pretty much lose, I think. Oof. Bad for off. That is brutal. That is brutal. It could be a roll. This thing max defense? It almost has to be. Okay. It looks like literally have the max defense bold, right? Oof, this is rough. Okay. Okay. I think the only real way that I win this is if is if I take a Moonblast. With Mammoth Swine, but I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I ever do. So what do I do? I think, I think my only hope is to hope that I either crit or get a, or get a super aggressive high roll here. If this thing is bold, then... Oh, man! That's gonna be the match. Whoa! 
Okay, that doesn't matter, actually. Does it ever matter? Does it ever matter? Does it ever matter? Because if I go into Mammoth Swine, I would need to pick up a KO with a combination of thousand of um extreme speed plus ice shard plus rocks on the scissor from 50%. Extreme speed does a maximum of 20. This is Oh, this is also assuming some bulk. If we assume no bulk, then we might get there. We might get there. What was the other mon? Uh, Mammoth Swine. I mean, I guess we just try it. I'm pretty sure it's the it's my only it's the only way that I have a chance here. But. Do we take one? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna come down to some pretty aggressive rolls. But, if we can just barely get there with a combination of Stealth Rock and Ice Shard and Extreme Speed, then we may have actually gotten there. Nope, that's out of range. That's out of range. I'm gonna say GG, man, but that's out of range. I can try, but I'm pretty sure that this thing has some investments. I would need a crit. I would absolutely need a crit, but... Yeah. That's gonna be week one, man. <sighs> Good game to Kohan. I did everything that I could, but... Uh, I even tried to flinch down as y'all said. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really did try on this one. Uh, that was as narrow of a 1-0 loss as could be. But uh, we'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the APA. Uh, hopefully more weeks of the ICBA. I'm going to be having my playoff, my first week of the playoffs match this uh, tomorrow, actually, and um, more weeks of the League War as well as some other projects coming up really, really soon. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone, yeah, out.